this information is coming from uh, random actors around the world, but often too coming from places like the Chinese Communist Party, from Russia, from uh, Iran. Those are, those are nations that want to undermine what we're doing here, our dem democracy, our freedom, uh, the way that we're responding to this uh, risk, uh, to the Wuhan virus. Uh, they want to undermine our activities. We're doing great work. The American people have responded to the things the president has asked them to do to keep themselves, their families, and their communities safe. Uh, we need to make sure that we don't permit this information to undermine our activity. Hi, this is Sonny Perdue, Secretary of Agriculture at USDA. And I know it's a little anxious when we see those barren store shelves and grocery shelves there, but I want to assure you that our food supply chain is sound, it's healthy, people are on the job stocking those stores, processing that food, our inspectors are safely guarding that food and inspecting them day by day. You can count on it, your food's going to be there, but just let me remind you, use what you need, it's like a buffet, don't take more than you use. In a, in a week or two, and don't try to hoard so your neighbors and other communities can have what they need. Thank you. You're going to have enough. I just want every American to know, uh, go to trusted sources. Get this information from places uh, that you know you have confidence in that, whether it's whitehouse.gov or dhs.gov or state.gov. Go to those places so that you can see what America is really doing. We're delivering good outcomes for the American people, and we can't allow disinformation, uh, state actors and others, who want to undermine what we're doing here in the United States, they present risk to each of us, and we need to be mindful of that and go only to trusted sources for good, reliable information. So right now, as we're rolling out testing across America into these high-speed testing laboratories that can get diagnoses back quickly, we're asking all of you to prioritize those in the risk groups to be tested and those first responders and our healthcare delivery workers who really need to know whether they're positive or not. As we get everyone tested that really needs it for a diagnosis because they're so ill, we can move on to those who are less sick.